Hello and welcome to Accent Excellence. I'm Chuck Leyenberger and coming up on this month's show, we're going to be highlighting the graduates of 2017 for events here at the Salem Civic Center and also down at Highlander Field. So don't go anywhere. We have a special graduation edition of Accent Excellence next. Hi and welcome back to this special graduation edition of Accent Excellence. Let's head inside to the Salem Civic Center and hear from the wise words of our graduates of Cave Spring High School. In addition to basketball and soccer, I have also run cross country. So I'm going to tell you about three mile markers I think are important. Thank you teachers and coaches and thank you parents for being there to nudge us along this journey. So back to the race. Mile one. You are so unique. There is no one else like you. The footprint of your future will also be different depending on your individual talents and skills. Class of 2017, we are connected and that we have walked together the same hallways, but now we branch off in different directions. But as we think of our future, let's not just think of ourselves. Now my two, be selfless. Any time spent for others is time well spent. Several months ago, there was a story in the news of Matthew Rees. Like most marathon runners, he had the goal of finishing the race quicker than ever before. Brandon, Lauren, Allison, Cody, Jacob, Banner. You know that feeling. Each race is another chance to better your time. But upon seeing another runner stumble, Exhausted, so disappointed, and unable to finish the race, Rees immediately went to his aid. You can do this, he said. We can do this. Arm in arm, they finished the race together. Rees did not reach his personal time goal, but he said afterward that helping this runner finish was immediately more important. The last and final mile is to cherish each day. Let me tell a brief story. 32 years ago, in 1985, Case Spring High School held a similar commencement as today. One graduate, sitting there in cap and gown, was a girl, long brown hair, athletic, smiling, and getting ready to attend Virginia Tech. She felt the same way we feel today, hopeful, happy, and excited for a bright future. Only 13 months later, she was involved in a car accident. Sadly, she did not survive it. She had the same name as me, Jessica Lakowitz. She was my aunt, and I was named after her. I want to challenge each and every one of you here today to live life fully and cherish each day, because we don't know what could happen tomorrow. Life is precious fragile, and each day is a gift. Many historians believe Caesar said, the die is cast before he crossed the river, implying his choice was made and the future was set. I prefer to side with the scholars who have concluded that Caesar said it differently. The die is cast, that is too passive for Caesar. It puts his fate out of his hands, something Caesar would never allow. Remember, this is a man who felt he was a failure because he was considered the second greatest general of all time. Caesar was not a product of his environment. No, Caesar owned his environment. As he crossed the river, Caesar actually said, throw the dice high. Caesar's destiny belonged to him. Caesar didn't worry about the randomness of the dice. He knew that by time they fell, they would fall in his favor because of his determination and skill. He, not chance, would decide. As we graduate from high school here this very day, the future may seem out of our hands, subject to the whims of fortune but that future is only as far from our control as we allow it to be. What most men see as chance, Caesar saw as something he could control through unceasing drive. And we, the class of 2017, should follow his example. When we see uncertainty, we should act decisively and with conviction. On January 10th, 49 BC, Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon with his legion of 50,000 men and approached Rome. Though Pompey possessed an army almost three times the size of Caesar's, he feared Caesar's unyielding will and fled Italy entirely. Within a year of his decision to throw the dice high, Caesar became the leader of Rome and all its territories, achieving total victory. I remember the first time I heard those words, throw the dice high. 
They really meant something to me. They were a challenge to make my own way in the world. From entering a new school as a freshman to applying for college, I have made sure to throw the dice high. Even if I didn't succeed in every endeavor, I finished more confident in myself. I find in those words a simple, clear declaration that we shall do our best to create our own good fortune. Members of the class of 2017, today we stand on our own Rubicon, the future as unclear before us as it was before Caesar those years ago. The challenges we face may seem resolvable only through chance, but I know that if we put our eyes forward and hold our destiny in our own hands, when the dice land, we will have determined their outcome. Our mark on the world will be a great one. So now, as we consider the opportunities and challenges the future holds, I encourage you to act on the lessons of history, to have confidence in yourself, and to act boldly. I ask you all to join me in throwing the dice high. Thank you. Hi, and welcome back to this special graduation edition of Accent Excellence. Let's head over to Highlander Stadium to hear from the graduates of Glenver High School. Look at yourselves and those around you. Do you see the resemblance to our mascot now? I'm sure you do, even if you won't admit it. Even if we don't look like him, our mascot is a very accurate representation of who we are. And all I ask for you to do is to keep the Highlander within you alive. High school is not the end, and neither is any other point in the rest of your life. At some point, you may feel like you have failed, like there actually is a dip in that graph of life, but that all depends on your perspective, because no moment lasts forever. You can choose to view the negatives of the situation, or you can choose to view it as an opportunity to build yourself and explore. And as a cliche reminder, measure your success not by where you are, but by how you got there. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you are inferior because you are not. You are not. You never have been and you never will be. Keep fighting for what you believe in, even if it seems impossible to achieve, knowing that you are never done. Take advantage of the opportunities around you. Keep smiling and be accepting of each other. As we look back at Highlander Heaven, we will have memories that we hold with care. Some of us will say, man, I miss it there. Though I don't think anyone will miss the learning cottages and all of their fun, at least we got to walk out in the sun. Except for when there was snow, watching everyone slip on the ice was quite a show. And no one can forget the time the substitute teacher ran her car straight into the administration trailer, <laughs> leaving a pretty big scar. We were all more than happy to be moved into our new school where we could look at the new water fountains and drool. The happiness that spread through the halls before Friday nights were unforgettable here, and Frankie's dance moves had everyone smiling ear to ear. Bus rides back from sports games were always the best, but I think we'd agree that when we were singing or giving roll calls that they were better than the rest. Homecoming week was always fun for all, I don't think any of us will ever forget the, the time that Miss Klein did her army crawl. Or the time that we had camo day during spirit week. And Mr. Hafey said, sounds like it'll be a normal day here at Glenver. Oh, so unique. <laughs> Let's be honest though, we can all rock some camo like a pro. Now with all of these things that make Glenver stand out, it is when the internet goes out that we all begin to shout. And even on the rainiest of days, it is our sense of community that makes us light up in a very special way. We should all be proud of the things that we have achieved. We accomplished more than we ever believed. Even as we grow apart, we will forever be connected with Glumber in our heart. Congratulations, class of 2017. We truly have something special here, and it has fortified us for the rest of our lives. There is a power within us to change the world whether through medicine, science, art, politics, or even just by raising a future generation with the same values taught to us in these four years. To try your best, choose to be excellent. Remember to have fun. It will be okay. And always bank on caffeine. <laughs> and we might meet challenges along the way, but these words will come back to us. I want to leave you with some wise words from American technology executive, activist, and author, Sheryl Sandberg. 
Don't let your fears overwhelm your desire. Let the barriers you face, and there will be barriers, be external, not internal. Fortune does favor the bold, and I promise you will never know what you're capable of unless you try. Thank you, class of 2017. It is very possible that in this life you can give 110% all that you have and still fall short. Now, I find it really hard not to take this personally and often wonder what I could have done to maybe try a little harder, reach a little further. I found the answer in my Ivy League rejection letter, and I'd like to share some of that with you. I mean, guys, if somebody had told me at the beginning of this year that I was going to share my college rejection letter at my graduation, I think I would have laughed. The committee's conclusion is not a judgment about your worth, and it does not reflect your ability to succeed in a rigorous college environment. Reading your application made it clear to us that you will be successful wherever you go. This struck me. Soon after, I realized just how true those words were, and from now on, when I'm faced with a challenge, I try and remember that if I fail, it just means that I wasn't where I meant to be. When you fail, and I promise you all will, please remember to keep looking. You just haven't found your place yet. I certainly haven't learned everything there is to know about life, but there are a few people that I'd like to thank for teaching me what I knew so far. To my mom and my dad, who taught me never to be afraid to try. To my teachers in the classroom for creating a positive learning environment and to my teachers who were also my moms away from home. And lastly, to my best friends who taught me exactly what it means to truly love and support one another. What a wonderful journey it has been developing our expertise. I am excited to see what you all become experts in in the next decade. Congratulations, class of 2017. Hi, and welcome back to this special graduation edition of Accent Excellence. We're back now at the Salem Civic Center, so let's go back inside and hear the words of the graduates of Hidden Valley High School. While this is a day of joy and accomplishment, it's also a day of reflection on the end of an era. Never again will our parents drag us out for back-to-school shopping or question us about our days when we walk in from school. Four years of Friday night school spirit, ditching study hall to hang out in a favorite teacher's classroom, and building strong friendships are over. Okay, this is getting sentimental way too fast. Let's not forget the four years of late night cramming, pretending to cram while watching Netflix instead, and Titan Trail road rage. Thank goodness it's finally all over. Hey, there's nothing wrong with reflecting on the past. We've learned a lot in our time at Hidden Valley, and it's worth remembering. I mean, sure, I, I learned things at Hidden Valley, like the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and that I'm not very good at calculus, and that a squared plus b squared equals I'm never going to use this equation ever again in my entire life. Also during our time at Hidden Valley, we've learned the importance of friendship. While we were stressing over the PAX essay or one of Mr. Teague's impossible tests, our friends were there to suffer alongside us. They've been there to Snapchat us when classes got extremely boring, and they were there to support us when college essays threatened to drown us. And of course, we all have that one friend who was kind enough to explain that there isn't actually a swimming pool above the gym at Hidden Valley. Without friendship, we certainly would not have made it this far. So whether it's a freshman year friend that helped you through the struggles of gym with Coach King and Coach Weaver, or your best friend since elementary school that has solved every midnight crisis you ever had, make sure to take a moment before you part ways to thank the people that have helped you make it this far. Other things that we've learned throughout high school are how much we love sleep and how bad we are at getting enough of it. Never walk past Coach Broman in the hall if you're wearing a hat. And finally, and most importantly, none of us will ever be as cool as our favorite custodian, Kevin. <laughs> yes, we have learned a lot at our time at Hidden Valley, but there's infinitely more that we have not yet discovered. In a few minutes, we will walk out those doors and into an uncertain but opportunistic future. Adulthood approaches, where we will be forced to become independent and responsible, and to discover our place in the world. And the whole time, we will never stop learning. Some of us will learn how to cook, while others of us will learn many different ways to prepare ramen noodles. Some of us will learn how to balance a budget, and others will learn that the IRS is a force to be reckoned with. 
We will go on to specialize in over 60 different areas, pursue wildly different careers, and live in many cities across the nation. But no matter happens, what happens, we will all learn one fundamental truth. Life is not nearly long enough. We have been dreaming of what to do with our lives since kindergarten, and now it's time to turn those dreams into reality. First, we have to decide what we want out of life. Maybe you want to be an elementary school teacher, start your own small business, become a vet, or even be a stand-up comedian. Speaking of which, what is the deal with airlines? For some Dude, I mean of us, achieving the dream might be a little difficult. <laughs> but whatever it is that you want to pursue, make sure it's your decision. Don't do anything that you feel will impress others. Realize what it is that you are passionate about. Even if it's different than expected, chase after it. In the wise words of Oprah, the biggest adventure that you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Once you decide what you want, go and get it. With enough determination and confidence, any dream can become a reality. If you simply refuse to give up, you're bound to reach your goal eventually. And if you have the willpower to get through Jared Harvey's jokes in the morning announcements, you can get through anything. <laughs> Finally, and perhaps the hardest for our 21st century, easily distracted generation, don't procrastinate. We've all learned about the dangers of putting things off. I can say with the utmost confidence that there isn't a single person sitting in front of me that has not procrastinated something during their time at Hidden Valley. And if we procrastinate our dreams like we've procrastinated our homework for the last four years, we may never achieve anything. So go out and make the most of our short lives. <laughs> short, get it, because she's, she's short. We must act now, not later. Create for yourself the life you always dreamed of having. Now, we know that some of you are feeling incredibly inspired and ready to tackle the world. But others of you are thinking that we're not exactly qualified to give you any advice. I mean, we don't even have high school diplomas yet. But we'd like to leave you with two quotes from already successful and influential individuals. First, Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. And secondly, from my personal hero, Shreyas Mehta. Quote, I am Beyonce, always. <laughs> Hayden Valley Class of 2017, it's been a wild ride, but life is just getting started. Decide what you want out of life. We believe in your, pow in your power to accomplish anything, and you should too. Thanks for a memorable four years. Go, Go Titans. Titans. And we're back with more of our special graduation edition here on Accent Excellence. Let's now hear from the Viking graduates of Northside High School. Outstanding is one of the words that I think about that describes our four Northside High School valedictorian speakers. Chase Amos is truthful, gracious, and sincere. Sarah McBride embraces dedication in everything she pursues. Nick St. Pierre takes action and consider considers what's next. Trey Wampler endures and excels in prospective endeavors. Every one of them pushed past their limits of high school and did more than what was expected. As Chase, Sarah, Nick, and Trey come before you, they'll be discussing what it means to be Viking strong. I'll leave you with an, an uh, aspiring quote from the legendary Maya Angelou. You can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so, so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. Thank you. Perseverance is a quality that all Vikings share. Throughout our 13 years of schooling, we have all faced countless challenges, but we refuse to give up and we have successfully finished this part of our journey. Perseverance is staying up the extra hour to study for a big test when all you want to do is sleep. Perseverance is spending countless hours on the field trying to achieve your goal, even though it seems out of reach. Perseverance is trying harder despite a previous failure. It is what will set us apart both now and in the future. Perseverance is a pillar that makes us diligent, successful, and strong. Each and every one of us has persevered, whether it be in our academics, athletics, or personal challenges. No matter how we did it, we have each gone the extra mile. We have persevered through change, through loss, and through failure, and we have come out Viking strong.
Plato once wrote, if a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. Vikings of Northside, we are above all else brought together today as high school scholars. Scholarship, then, is another pillar of Viking Strong. Whether in college, in the workforce, or wherever you may be, the seed of learning is only planted in high school. It only begins a lifetime of learning, but does not end here. In your time at Northside, you may have nurtured the seed greatly and rose to the top academically, or you may have neglected it. If you take one thing from these brief words today, let it be that scholarship comes down to one thing, work. Never, ever believe that you aren't smart enough. If you did not succeed in academia, do not give up. Like all things in life, the most rewarding part of scholarship is that it is a challenge through and through. It does not come easily. Stay curious, Northside, stay diligent, and never stop learning. Athletic excellence is an integral part of Northside High School. As Vikings, we were raised as leaders. We guided our teams and ourselves with the pillars of courage and conviction, both on the field and in the classroom. In our tenure here, we have been presented with various adversities. As Vikings, we face them head on. This success is evident throughout the Roanoke Valley. You will not meet someone who has not heard about our football, volleyball, soccer, track, basketball, or baseball teams and their achievements. One of my favorite quotes is from Aristotle. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. We are Viking Strong, the embodiment of excellence, and we should carry the same tenacity, courage, and conviction with us in our next phase of life after we walk across this stage today. What sets Northside apart from every other high school graduating this June. Many other schools have great facilities, great faculty, and great students. But what sets us apart is our community. As students at Northside High School, we are all Vikings, and this is what makes us different. Not many schools could go through the challenges we have faced over the last few years without giving up. Despite the scandals, threats, and administrative changes, we have showed up every day, well, most of us anyway, and kept working. It's not just that we have excelled academically and athletically, or that we have persevered through great difficulty. What sets us apart is that we have done all of these things together. As a school and as a community, we have proven that we don't give up on ourselves and we don't give up on each other. This pillar of community that bonds us together is what sets us apart, and this is what makes us Viking Strong. And we're back with more with our special graduation edition of Acts and Excellence here at the Salem Civic Center. Let's now hear from the Terriers of William Byrd High School. Your life is the toughest and greatest test you will ever encounter. If these qualities are at the forefront of your decision-making process, you will find success. Your decisions determine your destiny, so you will have full control over it. So here we are, class of 2017. We made it. It's time to begin the toughest but greatest test you'll ever encounter. So just like my freshman physics teacher, Mr. Merrill, used to tell us before every test, I will now tell you before your greatest test. You will do great. For the past two years, I've worked at Batcher's Ice Cream Parlor. While there, I've noticed there's a particular way people choose their ice cream. Though your choice should be based on taste, most customers came in and pick their flavors solely off looks. We as individuals make decisions daily the same way customers choose their sweet, sweet treats. However odd, yet true, I've noticed the same behavior with students, for they pick clicks based off others' looks, knowing absolutely nothing about the person prior to their meet. Don't pick your ice cream by the colors. You may miss out on a good flavor, for looks can be deceiving. Class of 2017, I wish you all nothing but the best. Congratulations. Though I am technically graduating William Byrd, I have been away from my entire formal life for 10 months now. I have seen the possibilities, dreams, and capabilities of a Byrd diploma, and that to me is very special. Macedonia has been an enlightening journey. From the moment I stepped off the plane and verbally uttered, how and why? Did I just do this? 
to the snow-capped mountains I am currently looking at, I have learned a few and valuable lessons, the first of which is, don't take the small moments for granted. One of the most profound lessons I've learned while living abroad is the appreciation for time, the veneration of genuine relationships, and the dedication to maintaining a balanced life. Though when I left William Bird, I thought I would most remember the supposed important events, such as prom or receiving awards for successful academics, I quickly realized that the moments I most remembered and most cherished were the conversations I had with my favorite teachers, the laughter I experienced with my best friends in the cafeteria room, and all of the small, minute fragments of time encapsulating elated euphoria and the challenging anxiety. You can fail to try in many ways, but the most common one is the failure to try new things. A wise man once said, courage is the bridge into the unknown. We must all try to step out of our comfort zones, not being held back by the fear of failure. If you cross the bridge, and who knows where it'll take you, to a new hobby to master, a new place to explore, or maybe new people to meet. In the words of the Federation, boldly go where no man has gone before. And don't settle for anything on your journey. As my fifth grade teacher once said to an over-analytical 10-year-old boy, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars because we're all the stars of our own stories. So make that story unique and one of determination, determination, sorry, hilarity and success. As Terriers, we know that familiar cheer with which we begin every game. I believe that we will win. Sometimes in life, as in that game, we will lose, but the important thing is to always believe and to always keep fighting. My fellow graduates, I believe that we will win at life because each and every one of us has the capacity to succeed. Note I said capacity because success is never guaranteed. No matter the differences of the paths we now follow, we will all face numerous obstacles as we learn to navigate the maze of life. Sometimes we may get lost, and we may make mistakes and fail, but we are all armed with the skills for success, and ultimately we can succeed at whatever we put our minds to. As we graduate and join this adult world, I hope you all remember to form your own opinions, be yourself, work together, be kind to your peers, and most importantly, to always believe and keep fighting. Thank you. Mediocrity is the enemy of success. As Yoda so famously stated, do or do not, there is no try. You may stumble or temporarily lose your way, but harness a tenacious drive, a quest for precision to propel you forwards. In the midst of our diversity, the common theme of pursuing excellence in our respective paths is crucial to our success. Class of 2017, we have an important legacy to carry on. We have selfless teachers and coaches that have invested countless hours into us and families that truly care about our well-being. After leaving here today, carry yourselves with professionalism and humility. Remember those that invested in you and strive to fully utilize your God-given potential wherever your promising future takes us. And remember, only accept the best at WBHS and Shake and Bake. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this special graduation edition of Accent Excellence. To the class of 2017, congratulations and good luck. If you'd like to learn more about Roanoke County Public Schools, be sure to check us out online and be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Chuck Leyenberger. Have a wonderful summer, and we'll see you next time.